before we start, can we all stand up for our prayer? Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love, and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Amen. So, good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. Okay, you may take your seats. So, before anything else, I would like to introduce myself. I am teacher Jennifer Buenafe. And I will be your math teacher this afternoon. So I have a question. How are you today? Good. Uh, good to hear that. So may I know who's absent this afternoon? Oh, no one. Very good. I am very glad that every one of you are willing to attend my class. So are you ready for our new lesson? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think everyone's ready. Last meeting, if you still remember, we discussed about functions. Am I right, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, a sort of review. I want three representatives to come here in front. All you need to do is determine if the given mapping is function or not. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, may I know who is the representative of the whole? Um, Ms. Oro, come here in front. I would like you to answer number one, um, Mr. Kababa and Mr. Gute. Okay, I have here three answers. I want you to pick. I, I think this one. Okay, thank you. Is your classmates' answers correct or not? Yes. Correct. correct. Number one is a function. Number two is not a function. And three is not a function. So very good. Now, who can recall what is a function? Anyone? Uh, Mr. Kababa, please. A function is a rule of correspondence between two non empty sets such that to each element of the first set, which is the domain, there corresponds one and only one element of the second set, which is the range. Very good. So is there any questions about our previous topic? Clarifications? None, ma'am. Okay, thank you. If none, we will proceed to our next topic. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Before that, we will have our game activity. Ready? Excited for our game today? Yes, ma'am. So, I have here a picture. So, take a look at these pictures on the board and guess what word can be formed in this picture. Okay? First picture. What is this? Anyone? What is that? Okay, Mr. Kababa, what do you think is this picture? It's linear. Okay, very good. It's linear because this is line and this is R. Then we can form the word linear. linear. Very good. Okay. Okay, this is linear. How about this second picture? What do you think? If the word can be formed with this picture, Miss Aro. Function. Okay, function. This is what? Fan. Fan. This is. Function. This is. On. Then we can form the word. Function. Function. Very good. This is a function. So, so based on your activity, what do you think is our topic for today? 
I think Mr. Biasca has the answer. Linear function. Uh, please stand up. Linear function. Okay, very good, Mr. Biasca. Thank you for that. So our lesson for today is all about the definition of linear function. Please uh, wait a minute. I, ha I just have to put this. So our lesson for today is all about the definition of linear function. But before we proceed to our next topic, our next activity, let us let us have first our objective for today. Okay, let me uncover this. Okay. Everybody read objective. Let me start. Objective. At the end of 60 minute discussion, the grade A students will be able to illustrate a linear function. Okay, thank you. So, who among you here have an idea of what is a linear function? Okay, Mr. Kababa? A linear function is a polynomial function of the first thing. Okay, that is correct. So I have here the definition of linear function. Uh, let us all read the definition of linear function from Mr. Gute. So a linear function is a polynomial function of the first degree. Second, Mr. Kabab. Um, Mr. Yeska? Its graph is a number of The domain of a linear function is the set of the real numbers this range is also the set of real numbers. Okay. A linear Next. function is a function of form f and x is equals to mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers and m is not equal to zero. Okay, everybody read for the last definition. If the function form y, y is equal to, to mx plus b will be used synonymously as f of x is equal to mx plus b, which suggests that y is equal to f of x. Okay, thank you. So we have here an examples, or some examples of linear functions. Okay. Who can read our examples? Anyone? Okay, Mr. Biasca, read. 4x plus y is equal to 1. Number 2. 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. Mm -hmm. 4x minus 8y is equal to 3. 3 half x plus y third, a y third. 1 third y plus 1 is equal to 0. x half plus y fifth is equal to 3. Okay, thank you. So, plus in order for us to know our slope and y intercept, we, sh we should change the equation into slope intercept for this is the slope intercept form can we all read this one slope form y is equals to mx plus b so what do you think here in our equation is the slope yes mr kababa the variable m okay very good how about our y intercept Please stand up. Okay, very good. It's the B. If we take example number one, how can we transform it into the form Y is equal to MX plus B? So this is the example. 4X plus Y is equal to 1. Paano tagal magsiling slope form or slope intercept form? Y is equal to mx plus b. So from this equation, is this now the equation of slope intercept form of this yes. example? Yes. Very good. Now, what is the slope of this equation? Yes, Mr. Kababa? Negative 4. Negative 4. How about our B or Y intercept? Positive 1. Positive 1. Very good. 
How about in our example number two? Is this now the slope intercept form? Yes. 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 Very good. So who can tell me what is the slope and y intercept of this equation? Yes, Mr. Gutin. The slope form of 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 is um, negative 2x, I two third, and the, the y intercept form, the, y, the value of y intercept is 2. Yes, very good. Very good. I fear the m is equal to negative 2 thirds, and the b, or our, the y intercept is positive 2. Class, it is stated earlier that the function from y is equal to mx plus b can be synonymously read as f of x is equal to mx plus b. If we take an example for this, y is equal to negative 4x plus 1, is it the same as f of x is equal to negative 4x plus 1? Yes. Yes. Why? Because it suggests in our definition here that y is equal to f of x. Very good. Now we will have our uh, group activity. I will group you into two groups. I think this one is group one. Yeah, group one uh, and this uh, right here is group two. two. Now go to your groups. I think you are settled. Each group must choose your leader or secretary or reporters. I have here two, two envelopes. Inside is the equation you need to rewrite and then determine the slope and the y intercept. So group one and group two. Hmm. I will give you three minutes. I think that's enough for you to. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you three minutes. That's enough for you to answer. All you have to do is to change that into slope intercept form, then determine what is the slope and what is the y intercept. And if your group is done, you can write your work in the board, I think. Here, for the group one, and group two. Then I want you to explain your answer. Why do you arrive in that equation? Okay, um, group one, um, you determine the slope and the y-intercept of your equation. I think you have to write this here. Okay, yes. Okay, group one, can, um, can you explain your answer? Why do you arrive with that equation and why, how do you get the m and the b, which is the slope and the y-intercept? So we are, uh, the task given for us to solve is this. 4x yes. minus 8y is equal to 3. Mm -hmm. So in order to get the, uh, the slope and the intercept form of the equation, yes. all we need to do is uh, we... Um, we... we we transpose yes. the, I guess, the negative, <laughs> the, the, negative uh, the, the 4x was transposed here, 
So we have the 4x plus 3. Then we divide the, it by the equation by 8. So we arrive for the answer na uh, uh, negative 1 half x plus 3. So m, where m is the the slope and b, where m, the one half, negative 1 half is the slope and 3 8 is the um, y intercept. Okay, we, again, we will review your answers if it is correct. Um, can I ask Ms. Oro, do you agree with this answer? I think you have to review your work. Class, is this correct? Yes. yes. Yes, very good. Then, can we have group two to explain your answer? So, the group two is being tasked to get the slope for uh, 3 over 2x plus 1 third y, negative 1 is equal to 0. So, to get this, uh, we transpose 3 over 2x to the right and also the constant which is negative 1. Mm -hmm. So we have 1 third y is equal to 3. I negative 3 over 2x negative mm -hmm. 1. So in order to eliminate the denominator, we find its LCD mm -hmm. and the LCD is 6. So 6 times 1 third y is equal to 2y mm -hmm. and then 6 times negative 3 halves x mm -hmm. is equal to negative 9x. And 6 times negative 1 is equal to negative 6. So in order to eliminate this numerical coefficient, we yeah. divide both sides by 2. So this we eliminate. And then we separate it because they lie in terms. So we have y is equal to negative 9 halves x negative 3. So our slope is negative 9 halves and our y-intercept is negative 3. Okay, very good. So let's give ourselves 5 Collapse. So, is there any more questions? Okay, thank you. Now, I have here some equations. With the same group, group each group must have a, a volunteer for each equation to solve. But for others, just answer in your seats to check if their answers are correct. So... First, I can know. <laughs> okay, can I have two volunteers for each group? Okay, Mr. Kababa and number one. Uh, I think Mr. Biasco. Okay, number one. Now, group one, the same group. Yeah. Group, group one will be answering number one, and group two will be answering number two. Okay. Is this correct? Number one? Okay, very good. 
Is this correct? Yes. yes. Oh, very good. Then I guess you're ready for the test. Get your one-fourth sheet of pad, paper, and pen, and answer this test for at least five minutes. Where's my test, by the way? The test is over here. If you can answer this in two minutes, that will be great. You... If you're done, pass your paper forward and copy your assignment, I think. I will give you a new, huh? Test your paper. We're done po. I rewrite each linear function into slope. Yes, please. And then determine the m and the b or the slope and the y intercept. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Right, that ends our discussion today about the definition of linear function. I hope you understand and learned something from what we we've discussed today so thank you for your active participation god bless us all and see you next meeting goodbye class thank, thank you. you and, and goodbye, goodbye mom thank you yeah.